How do you make a workbench when you don't have a workbench to work from? This is probably one of the most exciting times in your life. You've pulled together all your materials, you've got your tools together, and you are about to start the, the workbench, and there you are on your knees on the garage floor, on a picnic table, on a kitchen table, something like that, and you're about to embark on this process of making your workbench, your very first workbench. To me, this workbench would be your ultimate workbench because you're making it, it's your workbench, and the probability is you're going to work from this workbench for the rest of your life. I want to walk you through all the steps that get you from A to B. It's not as complicated as it looks, and because it's such a big thing, you think to yourself maybe, whoa, this is a big project, I don't think I can do it. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can do it, and it's nowhere near as complicated as it might look. When you break it down into the component parts, you'll find that you have everything you need. You've got two leg frames, you've got a bench top, you've got a well board, and you've got two aprons on either side. I'm going to show you every step of the way how to get to the point where these start to be assembled into this rock solid, rigid workbench. So you've got a very good vise. I want to show you how to install a vise that will stay in place for 50 years, that you won't have any problems working with. And you'll have a heavy weight bench, but it's not too heavy. You'll have one that you can maneuver around your tight space in your garage. I've worked at this bench, this type of bench for the last 50 years. It really works and it's gonna be a very solid bench for you to work with. I just want to tell you, you can do this. This is an incredible bench. I haven't found any bench that I would want to work at more than this one. It's a wonderful bench and you'll have it for the rest of your life.